Hi, this is Kevin with CircleCI, and this is going to be a quick video walkthrough of installing our Behind the Firewall product um, on a single Amazon EC2 instance. So I'm at the documentation now for the uh, single box installation, as we call it, and uh, we have a uh, pointer to just the AMI that we provide that's pretty much ready to go for this purpose. Uh, you can just select the region you want. I'll use US East 1 and then I can just click go and it'll take me straight to the EC2 launch wizard for the AMI. I do want to make sure to pick a box with a reasonable size, reasonable amount of memory. Um, I'll just go ahead and go with like a T2, well, let's make it an M4 large with eight gigabytes of, of RAM. So now I'll go ahead and configure instance details. This should all be fine. Uh, it should have already a reasonably large uh, hard, hard disk selected for storage. Um, and I'll just give it a name, um, circle CI test or something like that. And I'll add a couple of rules to the security group. Uh, 22, keep that open. I will also add HTTP and HTTPS. Uh, HTTP, as well as one specific custom port, um, custom TCP rule for port 8800, which is sort of a management interface. And I'll open that. In my case, anywhere, obviously, you can choose different rules according to your needs. And then one more rule for a range of high ports that are used for end users to SSH into builds to debug them, um, which is a nice productivity boost for developers in general. So I'll make that another custom TCP rule. And in this case, I'll just open that to anywhere and then review and launch. Um, should be good. I will, just in case I need to get into it and debug, choose a key that I have access to and then launch that. And in just a second, that should be up and ready. All right, now that that instance is up, I'm going to go ahead and go to its uh, public IP address in a new tab. And you'll see this welcome screen, which I can just click get started on, and it will uh, give me this warning about a self-signed SSL certificate, which I will proceed through. Uh, and then I am at a page where I can set up some basic settings for the administrative console. So I will just give it a host name of its own IP address and um, just continue to use a self-signed certificate now for simplicity to secure it. And proceed. Okay, so now I will upload my license file, which I should have uh, from an email or provided to me from somebody at CircleCI. So I'll choose that. And then I can choose a password uh, to secure this administrative console. And I'll just pick something that I make sure to remember for that. It'll do some quick pre-flight checks about the hardware to make sure everything looks good. And it does. So I'll continue there. And now it takes me to the settings page where I can configure some basic uh, settings for the instance. Um, the defaults initially are okay. I'll continue to use the host name. And then uh, under the GitHub that I want to point it to, uh, for this demo, I'll just use public GitHub. Um, it's very much the same process for GitHub Enterprise. And then I do need to configure a GitHub uh, developer uh, OAuth application. So I'll just follow the instructions here to go to uh, the settings and OAuth applications, and then I'll register a new application, Circle CI test, and then I will give it this IP address with HTTP as the protocol as the homepage URL, and then I will just use that same address but with forward slash auth forward slash GitHub as the OAuth callback that will be used for the OAuth handshake flow and go ahead and register that. And note here that it is important that you use 
HTTP, if you are uh, going to be using HTTP, basic HTTP on the Circle instance, which is a good easy starting point for an initial installation, or HTTPS uh, if you are using that on the Circle side as well. So I have my ID, which I'll paste in here, and my secret, which I will also paste in. I can test authentication here, that looks good. Uh, this here is where I will un I will leave SSL only unchecked. If I did check this, I would need to make sure to uh, go back and set up HTTPS as the protocol on the GitHub application here, or we would there would be an issue. Other than that, the uh, other defaults are fine for now. So I'll just leave all those all at default and agree to the license agreement and then save. Once I do that, the application will start up, which will take a little while, particularly pulling our standard build container image takes a little bit because it's a pretty big image with lots of stuff pre-installed. Uh, but I'll just wait for that for a little bit. Okay, so now my app shows up as started and I can go ahead and click open. And that will take me to a page where I can log in to the CircleCI end user facing application, as opposed to the administrative console where we were before and I can just click get started. And it will uh, ask me to authorize CircleCI to access my GitHub account, which I will go ahead and do. And now it will take me right back to a page on CircleCI where I can add projects from GitHub. So I'll select some organization that I like. I'll just use my personal GitHub account and I'll choose a project that I have called test and say build project. And as soon as I do that, or shortly after, it should take me right to the build page for that new build. And it, as you can see, is already starting to run the build. And just like that, I have my first green build on CircleCI behind my firewall in my own AWS account. Thanks for watching.